against the run, 31st against the pass so far this season. Play action, and here they come. And coming in is Devin Bush. So after the fumble, what do the Bengals come up with? Off the fingers of Eifert. We're losing based on how that front four plays against this Steeler offensive line. Here's Samuels with a tap pass to James Conner, and Conner goes ahead off the Jim Bush in that A-gap, giving the look of it, and then he backs off into coverage. Third and 11, pressure on Dalton, floats it, and it should have been picked off by Joe Hayden, but he drops it. By the Steelers in 2018. Here's Samuels again, who is showing up as a big part of the game plan. And it's a first and 20 as it stands. Mason Rudolph trying to extend the play here, and he does so as he gets it complete. Now set up the screen here to James Conner. As Conner, good job of keeping the Falcons. Third down and 10. Dalton pumps once and then tries to drive the ball to John Ross. Play action, Rudolph, as he will go underneath to Connor. That gives him second and two. Here's a sprint right and an easy catch for Samuels on the injured reserve. So they're down two tight ends and they make the trade for Nick. Third and two. Rudolph, how about it? James Connor! Touchdown, Steelers! Pressure off the edge, and the ball's out, and the Steelers recover. It was Bud Dupree who chopped down, and T.J. Watt recovers it. 1,400 yards, right? I mean, he's, absolutely. He's got it all, and he's so young. Second and seven, and once again, going to the running back, and once again, at running back. Rudolph. Looking over his options, checks down to Samuels, who beats the first man easily and then takes a wiggle past midfield. <laughs> and Connor right through the middle. Samuels right through the middle of this defense for 13 yards. Get it out to Juju in space as he turns the corner. Second and two, James Connor with Washington in front. And look at the room he has there. Boswell maintains that perfect. Dalton had to do everything he could just to hold on to that football. Back to Mason Rudolph. And this offense is James Conner with a good chunk play to open up. They bring pressure. Rudolph gets it complete for a first down. As Samuels with the short passing game and hit on his last 11 passes prior to that. Now it's second and 15. Rudolph. As he throws short and is able to find Vanette. Ellen Samuels <laughs> is lined up with the direct snap. And he taps it to Connor, who's back in. That's a good sign for the Steelers, and this is better. As he spins his way inside the five, and what an effort from James Connor. As Connor's playing that motion H-back position, Samuels, all too easy. Dalton. A little bit of traffic, and then he goes down that time. That was Cam Hayward. Again, in the Wildcat, the offense has the advantage because the defense doesn't count the quarterback as a runner. Downfield strike, wide open, Johnson. Bird has been able to do. Dalton, pressure, and raining down on him is T.J. Watt. Try to pick up, maybe you break a tackle, maybe you get the first down that way. And they take him down again. Right through the middle came Harvard here in Pittsburgh. Dalton lofts it to the end zone and it's incomplete. Intercepted. 
and that ends that as Mark Barron. He, that Zach Taylor is brought from the West Coast to the East Coast. Here's a third and nine for Mason Rudolph as he gets it to Samuels, who cuts to the outside and then dives ahead for that marker. Accountability, mm -hmm. creating a culture to always raise the standard. That's what Sean McVay delivered. And this is what Cameron Hayward. Nothing getting going there with Bernard. Dalton on third and ten. As that's incomplete as Sutton was breaking on the ball intended for Tyler Boyd. Downs, try to establish the running game. They did that on the edges. So all in all, it was a good night tonight. Fourth down, he goes down again. Tyson Alou Alou. Eight sacks for the Steelers tonight.